everybody. Welcome back. Um, it's Gina. I've got a couple of journals to share with you guys today. This is my um, first, well, it's kind of like a second design team project for my porch prints, uh, but it's the first journal. Uh, yesterday I did a t quick tutorial um, using one of the kits from the uh, Stephanie's shop. So today I wanted to share with you guys these journals that I've completed and I've named these wildflower, wildflowers and herbs. There's no difference really um, other than the image on the front and I'll, I'll show those um, but the insides I've, I've done the same. So let's just get started with this one which is wildflowers. A lot of work went into this, guys. Um, the closure is Sorry Silk, um, but the base of this is an envelope, a 9 by 12 envelope uh, that I have sandwiched muslin fabric between to reinforce, and then I've attached the images from the uh, wildflowers, a botanical wildflowers kit. Um, the link will be in the box below to the, that kit as well. Um, and then once that was done, I sewed around it um, and then came back and added beeswax to it. So you can see it's got a really worn, weathered look to it. It's, it just feels amazing. I'm so happy with how this came out because I had in my mind once I printed this kit out, what I wanted to do, and, and I'm delighted to say that this has come out the way I had envisioned it, so that's always nice when that happens. Um, and then here I did a ruffle, added a couple of um, old buttons I've got, so you can see those. And then this is one of the images, this is just some tatty lace that I had. Um, so we'll go inside. Um, let me get my ruler. It's ended up, it's a big journal. This is probably one of the bigger ones I've done really. It's basically about a seven by nine, probably six and a half by nine really. Um, so it is a large journal. Um, one signature sewn in with a five hole pamphlet stitch. And then on the front here, um, just various things. Um, this is one of the journal cards that comes from the kit. I've stitched that and then stamped behind it and then I've included this little stamped um, journal tar tag and then um, I've just added various things that I had in my stash along um, side it that I thought coordinated because um, I wanted it to be you know very weathered and worn um, and you know, feel as though you're walking through a field of wildflowers because the images are just so so pretty. Um, here I've got a book page pocket, and then this is just an extra bit of writing space I've just tucked in there. This is um, the lavender sachet. <laughs> um, and, and uh, honestly, when you get to this page, it is so fragrant. Um, so that's just been tucked in there. That can be moved wherever you want, or you might even want to just take it out completely. Um, just a little mason jar I've cut from some of the extra paper that I had left over. <clears throat> a bit of um, avocado and coffee uh, paper that I had in my stash. I thought it coordinated nicely with this, and I love the pages on that with the wording and it, it's really, really, I enjoyed working with this. Um, just envelope pocket there. I don't know off the top of my head how many pages. That'll be in the listing if you are interested. Um, these images are from Mrs. Cog, so if you're interested in those, but they went up really nice with this. Um, and then this is a book page pocket. pocket. Uh, some French book page. Bit of stamping. Um, tea dyed papers. Just a real mix of papers from my stash. 
And this is also available from My Porch Prints. It's the Lavender Clutch Bag. And I love that with all the little elements. All of these are little, little tiny journaling cards that are tucked in there. And they are just so sweet. So you get everything to make this. So I will actually put the link to this kit as well because this is a separate. Um, but what a great little project if you're just starting out in with uh, crafting or you're looking for something easy, an easy project that you won't get too stressed out about, this is a really nice one to start with. So I've just tucked that in that little pocket there. This is a postcard I had in my stash and then this is just a little um, fabric stamp that I've created. That's an Amity Bloom in inspired project there. love the little lined papers that come with this. Another little journal card from my stash. This is one of the tags that you get with the kit. And then this opens up and there's a couple of journal cards that come in the kit. Aren't they gorgeous? So that's just been tucked in this little envelope pocket here. And then I've made a little tuck spot there to hold that closed and just tuck that in. I love these papers. And I like this one because it's just a, a soft beige and white, so it's very simple. Um, um, here I've created a... I've got the doily punch, and so it's created this little tuck spot on each side and then I came back over with a circle so you've got a double you've got a place to tuck things there and then also here and then these are some of the uh, little tags that are included in the kit as well and this is another one aren't they beautiful images another um, postcard from my stash some more stamping um, some punch this is a Martha Stewart punch um, this is a um, window envelope journal card I've created with some of the elements. And then this is a little tag. So this goes back in there and this tucks away here. So if you like this project, stay tuned because tomorrow I will be posting a uh, create with me on how to make that pocket. So be watching for that tomorrow, guys. This is some handmade paper. I've just inked around the edges. So if you if you want something um, to do some watercolor on or, you know, a little bit of mixed media, that's a really nice heavyweight uh, paper there. This is the center of the signature, Edith Holden. That flips out and then there's some glass beads that I've attached and it's the same in both journals as I said um, this is another paper that comes with that kit um, beautiful actually I don't know if this is with the botanical kit. This may be from the, um, let me just check very quickly before I tell you guys wrong. I think that may be from the lavender, um, it is, that's from the lavender clutch. No, it is. It is part of that kit. I couldn't remember because the uh, lavender clutch gave you a back, uh, background paper as well. But isn't that beautiful? Here I just did a little um, altered paper clip. And that is holding one of my leather envelopes. The faux leather, not leather, sorry, it's faux leather. <laughs> and then I've just added a, a really pretty little cluster there. Our snippet. 
So there's a lot in this. Oh, I love that page. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I use, this just reminds me, I think why I love this so much, I'm sorry, it's another story coming. This reminds me of when we were out in Colorado in the summers and I would go off into the mountains just on my own. And, uh, you know, all the little wildflowers that you'd run across off up in the uh, mountains. And it, it just, uh, I suppose that's probably why I've, I'm so partial to this kit, because it takes me back to that time of just um, on my own, roaming around up there. And you pick, you know, things, bring it back and press it. And it, it just... I uh, love being out in the woods. Love to be out in the woods. Um, CD case that's been altered. And again, this is uh, Mrs. Cog um, journal card. And I've just taken some of the background paper, um, printed it onto cardstock to make another little journal card that fits in there nicely. And that flips up. So you got some extra writing space here. And then, of course, you've got the lined paper that comes. Um, some old music sheet index card that's been stamped or punched out with a Martha Stewart. Oh, love that. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm going to be using this uh, again for sure. I love this kit. Um, some German, old ger German uh, book page. Here is an Edith Holden book page that I've made into a, a pocket here. So you've got a double pocket to add items. And just an old receipt page I've printed. I thought it went nice with this. And then here, this is one of the 6x9 envelopes. And I've just attached this little um, flip out so you've got a pocket here and this is another journal this is from um, my porch prints if she's got an, a vintage ephemera kit so that's beautiful and then uh, in here I've just added other little bits and pieces from her ephemera uh, kit and this is a Tracy Fox I like that that went perfect with this and just made you know, some extra little tags that, from any of the papers that were left over. Stamped bloom here. And so you've also got space here. You can add some items. Uh, one of my doily pockets here. And inside I've got another little journal card tucked away. And then I made another little handmade tag that's been put behind there and that's all been put onto the um, avocado and doily uh, impression uh, paper and then in the back here I've just made another little tag and just a little tuck spot there and just a couple of little um, journal card and a tag there so you can see this is um, the beeswax, how it looks um, coming through the muslin because this has all been reinforced with uh, fabric. And like I said, I've sandwiched it through so this, this is going to last. This journal will last you. So that, <coughs> excuse me, that was Wildflower. Let me just get this. Uh, we're okay on time. Let me just get this tied up and I'll just very quickly flip through um, the herbs. And um, like I said, the only difference really is where I've placed things. They're, they're varied slightly. Um, same closure, uh, just a, a little bit different image. This has all been stitched and backed onto some Caddy lace I had in my stash, and then this is the cover on this one. Um, same elements. Another tag. 
journal card. And this is um, a button that I've sewn to that uh, little bit of crocheted lace there. And another of the lavender sachets. And this one, I believe, I've got left that open in the back on this one, so there's another place to put a tag behind there. Oh gosh, that's so strong. I can't tell you guys that lavender. Every time you come to that page, you get this wonderful fragrant and it goes beautifully you know with this kit being um, herbal and um, wildflowers same thing here just um, filled with little tiny journal cards and tags and then back here I've tucked away just some additional writing space that I cut out and that's been tucked behind, and then this flips over, and you've got another pocket inside, and writing space here, of course. And another of the little lavender clutch bags, a little fabric postcard, or stamp. Another um, envelope pocket. Here we've got this flip up and little tag and then this is the journal card from this one Um, doily, it's been tea dyed. I love these pages. Oh, I just wish I had enough time to go back. I've got so many kits that I would love to go back and use. Um, another journal card. Same thing here. This is a little tuck spot, and then inside you've got the little journal cards. I won't pull them out this time. And this is the center of the signature, the dragonfly. This is the Edith Holden paper, if, if you're not familiar. I think everybody knows Edith by now. Um, another page uh, from the kit. More of the handmade paper in this. And then this is one of my faux leather envelopes that's been tucked in. And there's my little altered paper clip. Another tag. Book page pocket. Some stamping. Music sheet. And then another of the double tuck spots here. And then this CD case flips up. You can do some writing. And you get another little journal card there. Another Edith Holden uh, double pocket here for adding some more ephemera. And that's the back. So there it is, guys. That is herbs. And this is wildflower. Those are available in my shop if you're interested. Um, I hope you guys are all having a great week. Like I said, if you're interested, I'm going to have a tutorial tomorrow on how to make that um, window envelope uh, flip pocket. And I will see you guys in a couple of days. Well, I'll see you tomorrow with the tutorial. So um, take care, have a great week, and I have a wonderful weekend ahead, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.